Good, good. Thank you so much for coming and talking with me today. I'm like, uh, I just, I'm totally like floored by the fact that um, you have just done it again, being the amazing queen that you are. You, you've hit, made lightning strike twice, which is crazy. Yes, yes. Well, we did it. All the good people and all the animal lovers, and those of us that understand the animals and have a special connection while we are here um in our in our you know our physical um yes All right, so I think. let's let's go back a little bit so i okay. first heard of you um two years ago you popped on my radar as a former zookeeper who's intimately uh, familiar with the lions at the zoo um i remember hearing the story and being like oh my god this is great and then um you know i know that you you got in a little bit of trouble for that you got like a criminal trespass or something and like i think i caught a ban from the zoo for a year but then here we are two years later um you're back and doing it again so i have to ask you so for the first time what what was your motivation that first time that you walked up to those lions and you wanted to get their attention two years ago two years ago was a very different experience it was very different from the the previous the present experience that we're actually experiencing now the previous the two years ago it was more like it was my birthday I wanted to do something different. I was totally saying to myself, I said, I don't want to for my, that was my 32nd birthday. I just wanted, that experience was, I just wanted to do something different. I um, didn't want to do the ordain, you know, on your birthday, you go out and party, you know, the typical stuff. So I was like, let me go to the zoo and experience my my birthday you know you know i'm i'm in manhattan is where i'm at where i live i um even at the present time uh trump towers you know and i said let me do something in the city without bringing people to my place and do something nice and uh, i let the my heart led me to the zoo when i got there i went to visit like some gorillas, they had some hyenas, some cheetahs. And I was like so infatuated and the cheetahs were like so far. And so, you know, my, I was like the lions, I saw the little sign that said the lions, you know, and when I got there, I was totally breathtaking. Like, I would say, you know, most people would use like uh, captivating. You know what I mean? <laughs> I do now. Yeah, absolutely. I was, I was captivated by their presence. And I heard the lion roar. This is totally was not planned. And when I heard the roar, it was like something in my body had shifted. And I knew that I had to go in the den. I had to go. You know what I mean? I feel and, you. And when I got, I totally, this is how I know I had to go in because everything went silent. Everything, darling. When I say everything went silent, I completely lost the, the presence of the value that was around me, the people that was there. It was totally like me and the lions, me and the two lions. And that's all I saw. That's all my heart saw. That's all my eyes saw. And when I went in, we immediately caught eyes. And if you listen to the first video, I said, I have to get closer. I have to get closer to the king of the jungle. He is so handsome. He's so strong. He is so masculine. He is so powerful. <laughs> love it. And, and so, I was like, I love you. The moment I looked in his eyes, it was almost like looking in the sun. And I said to myself, I said, I love you. And I knew that he understood because I was able to read his uh, body language, his, his movement. And I think he was taken away by it too. Like, who is this beautiful young lady jumping in this day and coming after me saying she loves me? And I said, I love you. I said, Maya loves you more than the whole white world. I love nobody more than you. 
and I can see him trying to move closer to me. And there was like a little separation between us, but I completely expressed how much I loved him and how much I was there for him. And uh, I, I think the importance of his power, you know, is something about the, a lot of people wouldn't understand if they don't understand animals, but, but it's something about the presence of a man that is dominant. <laughs> well, you know, um, now that you mentioned it, I totally get that. No, I'm kidding. Um, no, that's amazing. Um, <laughs> who is it? I knew that you would understand because you're very handsome yourself thank and you, intriguing. You. Very thank intriguing. Very, very I, talented. I try to be. I try to keep it all under mysterious <laughs> guises always. Yeah. Um, so wait, let me ask you. So, this, is so, why the is lioness, it, this is why the lioness has come after you. I can see, and you know, the lioness is never wrong in the pride, right? So I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna be like, All right, listen, okay, lioness. <laughs> yes. oh my goodness, wait, this is cool, this is going off the rails like really fast. Wait, we're not supposed to get here yet. Hold on, okay, okay, you're confused, you're making me fluster, you're making me sweat. Okay, okay, I mean, excuse my my French, but you're very, you're hot, so you know, no, thank you, you're absolutely beautiful, and I'm, I'm completely like honored that you would even think that. So we'll, we'll talk about that later. Okay. Yeah, anyway, yeah. So, hey, <laughs> so come on, business, business. We gotta do business. Um, All right, let's so, we'll so, stick to business this, right now. Yeah, business for now. Um, so, so was it this one specific lion that you had that connection with, or is it now just all lions? I would say, being that I understand my power that is totally given to me by God. You know, I would say that it's like once you understand the one or two men, you can understand most of them all. You know what I mean? So with the lion, moving to the lion again, <laughs> um, I would say that me and this particular lion who had come to the forefront for me, and literally sat at the edge of the cliff for me. We have a very, very special connection, mm. uh, very loving, very powerful. He understands me, I understand him. And the second line, who was, I was able to bring forward once I gave him his flowers. Then I got him out of his comfort zone. I said, I have a dozen roses for you too. It's not just him. Then he came to the forefront, like she loves me too. You know, <laughs> so, a love for them all, right? Yes. Yeah, so now I have like a love for them all, but I had to first understand the first one that God put before me, you know? Right. right. And, you know, not getting too like, you know what I mean? But yes, I would love to meet more lions and have that experience and, you know, that special connection. But it was very beautiful. The second time was the, the second time was really more so I wanted to, I don't know if we're at that point yet where we're talking, but I tell wanted me, to, tell me all. I wanted to thank him for what he had did for my life. You know, um, prior to me jumping in the den, I was a beautiful girl. I had dreams and, you know, I went to college, I played sports, uh, I've did a lot of wild things as a beautiful woman. I have exotic danced. That's the bare minimum. But I've exotic danced. I am now madder. Um, I my beauty has made the passageway for me in life. Uh, I've also did some escorting, some high end escorting with a lot of wealthy men. And uh, before becoming madam. And. But I lived in like wealth and in a certain place. And I believe that God doesn't give you anything that you can't handle. So I was totally amongst the crowd. And it was, it's like being in life, having all these gifts, all these talents. And you know, God knows our heart. We are here on this journey for a specific reason. And that is to get our work done while we're here. You're going to meet a lot of people along this journey, my dear. But the ultimate goal is for you to get your work done and your assignment while you're here. You're here for a specific reason, 
a specific calling in a specific task. That is the only reason we're all existing. It took me 32 years at the, all the talented things that I ever done to finally find out who I really was in this life. And the lion helped that come about. I was completely called out of the crowd at 32 years old, like come forward. And me crossing that barrier and going over that fence and facing the lion, the lion king, because he's king, to face him face to face and to know that this is a supernatural experience. You know, this is not your everyday experience. I didn't know what would come with it. The next morning I woke up, I was on over 41 news stations, all the way to Parisia, India. Um, I was going on, I went on a jog the next morning because on the Hudson River, there is like, you know, the water. I go on the jog with my friends and uh, I, am the, I am the great, great younger cousin of the artist Gene Autry. He was a country singer. Yes, of course. Yes, and he was married to Jacqueline Autry. Um, but he was uh, from Oklahoma and Texas. He signed to Columbia Records, but that is actually my great, great cousin. My grandfather, John Autry, that is his first cousin, <laughs> Gene Autry. Wow. So, yes. So a lot of my friends and stuff are, you know, from like uh, college and stuff. So we were on a jog. I literally had like 50 people. Hey, waving, waving. It was one person bold to say, I saw you on the news last night. You're the girl from the Lions Den. I'm like, what? How did you know? She's like, you're all over the news. You're viral. I'm like, uh, why don't I know about this? And she's like, look on my phone. Can I follow you? The next thing you know, I had every Hot 97, 105.1, radio stations in Atlanta, people DMing me like, girl, you're Any men does. Yes, right? And they all were like, you're like lioness and <laughs> and it took that to happen and for me to be called out of the position I was in in life you know in my comfort zone and uh, I believe at that moment even though it seemed what could seem bad would be like became positive in my life and he took my life from being hidden to putting me in the spotlight and I don't think that God puts anyone in the light that doesn't deserve it because it's a responsibility. It's not all fame. It's not all fortune. It is a responsibility and it's constantly being able to stay awake mentally. You don't have any sleeping moments like the average person. From the time you get up, God is like, today's assignment is this. <laughs> and you have to be willing to be responsible of your light that you carry. Like, you know that. And you know we've you know we've had the, our talk before the interview, but you also have a lot of light and a lot of responsibility in this time as a handsome young man and who have done a lot of work yourself. You know how this goes, you know. And um, God didn't call us to be in this time to be born in this 21st century at this moment for us to not be well. It is for us to do well because God trusts that we will do well in this lifetime. So. Do, do you think that this all has some kind of, uh, um, it, it all coincides with like being during such troubling times that you've had this calling that you've come forward? I mean, what do you think ultimately is, is your ultimate purpose here, your calling? I would say number one, it is to totally be myself. Number two, it is to be able to shine my light so that uh, other people would be able to find their true selves. You know what I mean? Absolutely. You're very brave. You, you, you pretty much are, like you said, and I love your number one rule because being yourself is everything. Not everybody has the ability to do that. We all kind of wear these masks and these faces. And I mean, for you to know who you are and to pave the path for other people to be as bold as you are to find your calling. If people don't agree with it, whatever it may be, that's a very brave thing. And I can appreciate that. And, and you're right. And the key to it is, you have to be able to read the signs. 
<laughs> Absolutely. I agree. The signs are all around us, you know, so yes. Not we're, you know, so you know, I'll let you lead as a man. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. But please, no, you lead. You're, you're an amazing leader yourself. Um, you're a lioness. I'm not one to contend with the, the female or the pride. So <laughs> uh, I, even I know those rules. But let me ask you this. So, so what do you think would happen if you had the opportunity to, to meet a lion face to face or any, any big cat? Do you think that you now have especially enough connection to guide you through an interaction with one? Yes, I would give him immediately kiss. What kind of gifts would you give? What kind of gifts would you give? Let's say a, a leopard, a clouded leopard. If you got to meet a leopard, what gifts would you give the leopard? I would grab him by the poles with my poles, right? And I would then position my hands right a little bit beneath the ears. And I would rub the nose just a little bit and go. <laughs> wow. You know, I have a pair of leopard um, pajamas that are not real leopard, but it makes me look like one. So maybe you can show me that later. All right. That's amazing. <laughs> yes. And I love and I love guys your type. So that is that will be easy for us. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Thank you. I, I, I appreciate that. Like I said, we'll have to keep this chat off. Anyway, um, no, I, I'm so like, I, I'm, I feel very lucky to talk to you. I know that you are in, like, I know you've had a really busy day today. Um, Everybody, like I said, you are right now international news. It's crazy. Um, And you're absolutely right. I have seen you, um, your articles as far as Europe, all the way through Latin America. And, and it's crazy. So like, what do you think is next for you? What do you think is is holds the future for the madam? Oh, well, I'm also artist and music artist. Nice. Uh, I have balance of uh, of entertainment as far as like uh, you know a little. I would say uh, some people call it rapping, but I also have balance of uh, R and B. I would like to continue continue my legacy that my great great cousin Jean Autry who was the first Autry to ever come forward and get success and as you know me being the Matt and Maya Mac Autry it is only right that I represent myself well because he was a very poised man he was very intelligent he worked very hard for everything that he had you know, he started from nothing and started on a farm, you know, working with father and, you know, doing family things. And, you know, he got the shot in the radio business and to, for, to go ahead and pursue his music career. And he's been to New York City before he passed away. And, you know, California, he owns uh, our, our, our archery last name. We actually own museum in uh, LA. He had the baseball team. You know, so I would like to discontinue the path that he has already made for me. And to walk in those footsteps is a young lady, you know, is a beautiful young lady and is a, and someone that is becoming a woman, you know, and, uh, and always forever, I would like to be able to work with animals. You know what I mean? Like to be able to be up close personally with them to be able to give them a love so that they know that they are loved and that number one, I wouldn't be who I am today if it was not for the Lion King. This is bottom line. Really? <laughs> I have did, I've did a lot of work in my life and it took the lion to be able to make a name for myself, you know, and to be able to reach as many people that I have, you know, in the world. So, I would love to continue to work with lions, leopards, cheetahs, um, if they have like some form of like chimpanzees, all type of animals, because they're very intelligent, they're very smart. So I would go into that direction while still, you know, upholding my uh, entertainment life and uh, my art, you know, as an entertainer and a musician. But uh, ultimately, even in my home, I would like to own some lions on my property you know yeah and uh, that that is a is a is a reality for me that i am aiming for because as i said and as you know you know i'm very honest and uh i would not be what i am i could not even be lioness or <laughs> or do, do you think 
do you think <laughs> donald trump will be do you think donald trump will be okay with you walking the lion up and down the elevator yes i love donald trump <laughs> that's great <laughs> well, i'm glad you have a good enough relationship with him that you could walk the lions through i mean that's that's pretty yes. fantastic i i love him the most important thing i like about the donald trump is because he is always going to be himself no matter what you feel about him that is one thing i learned from my president is that right there you can put him anywhere any state any argumentation that you throw in front of him any articles anything my darling trump is going to be trump and you have to deal with it so i love him for that because that is something that all people should exercise never go against yourself and that's what trump has taught me so my love for him and he's gemini too so so we can always <laughs> expect the lion queen to be the lion queen always expect me to be the lion queen oh my goodness um <laughs> Let me ask you this really quick before we lose track. Wow, it's gotten really warm in here. Um, yes, I'm getting hot you, too. You're hot. This is not easy to look at. No, you, you know? you're, you're super hot too. I'm really trying hard to focus on our conversation because I think we have an important things to get through here, but like it's really difficult because you're like really pretty. So, okay. Um, Thank you, last, last, Thank you, my dear. I won't hold you too much longer, but I want to ask you one last thing. I, I think, and now this is, I've, I've talked to you a couple of times now and um. My honest opinion is I think that you're an incredibly confident, incredibly intelligent person. Um, I know that that being said, you've been subject to a lot of criticism from people in the public. What keeps you going? What keeps you away from that? Do you buy into that? Do you read into any of that stuff? Again, I'm going to go back into knowing yourself. This is life, you know? And regardless of if anybody admits it, we're all here for the show, dog. We're all here for the show. <laughs> we all want to be entertained. We all right. need something to talk about. So if you want to talk about me, if you want to make me your topic of the day, if you, what, whatever you decide there, that is totally fine. Because one thing is that I know exactly who I am. The question would be to the critics, do they know who they are? And that is it. For me, I'm going to continue to be lioness. I'm going to continue to be successful. I'm going to continue to raise the bar. I'm going to continue to praise the lion. I'm going to continue to give him all his love and all his glory. And I'm going to continue to let the world know how much I love him. And I'm thankful for what he did for my life. It was not man that changed my life. Understand that. It was not man. It was nothing but the lion. And until they can do what he did for me, they can say whatever they want, but my love for him won't change. So he gets all of my attention. And that's why I brought him $1,200 roses. And the roses that I bought them was $1,200 roses. They don't even die. Just like he won't because we're both famous now. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why you will forever be the Lion Queen. Always. Yes. And, and, and I gave him all $100 bills. I said, before the world gets enticed by my beauty and be able to see me and be spicy, I must let you see what you have made me become. And the, when he sat at the front row, darling, I said to myself, oh, we are one. So, you know, I, I, you know, I smacked my booty for him a little bit. I threw some money out. I did some little, you know, like let them know. And he was front row seat, just as calm like a man would be. And I said, I love you and know that I thank you. And if there is consequences that I must deal with, I will take those consequences just to see you again because you're worth it. I will not wow. leave this, you know, I will not leave this earth and have someone tell me I can't do this or do that. Okay, we might can do this going forward, but I must look at him at least one more time. And just like the first time he took my breath away. And it didn't matter, it didn't matter who was watching. And uh and that's what it was all about. I needed to see him again. 
Because when somebody changes your life like that, you always owe them their just due for them to see how far you have come, dog. And I've come a long way with all of his fame and his in his light that he let me borrow. <laughs> wow, Queen. Well, let me tell you, from from the men around the world, the the males around the world, we could all be so lucky to find a queen as amazing as that in life. Um, wow. I wanna I wanna thank you. That was pretty amazing and um you're definitely your insight means everything because i think people like i said have you misunderstood but i think tonight you've given everybody a really good insight as to what the love behind what you did was for yes and i thank you so much you're so amazing you're like you're everything you're so amazing you're so calm you're so humble you're so sweet um, you're so easy to communicate with as, as a gentleman, as a man, as a king that you are. And uh, I wish nothing for you but uh, golden grounds, that uh, everything comes in for you in your life and that you also continue to be assisted in this realm to become the man that you are ultimately going to be as the man that you already are and know who you are. So. You're amazing. And I believe that people all over the world should get to know you as well, even more, because you have a lot to offer. Trust me. <laughs> well, thank you, Queen, coming from you. I, I could not ask for any higher compliment from such a beautiful, intelligent, and, and grounded woman. Um, thank you so much. And um, I'm sure we'll speak to you again at some point in the future. But in the meantime, good luck with everything. And thanks for taking your time to talk to me. I really appreciate it. No problem. You have a golden evening. We'll talk soon, OK? as well thank you <laughs> oh my god i love you so much okay we can cut now your love is my love and my love is your love no decision will ever come between us not a river not a lake or the ocean <laughs> Thank you so much, King Danny, for the interview. I love you, darling. <laughs> <laughs>